as I explore around, wandering through this place. It makes nonsense. Nonsense. What's up you guys? Good morning. So today is Friday and I figured I would start off a weekend vlog or this might be like a little day in my life. Yeah, I don't really know what the weekend holds for me. But I figured I would just start off a vlog and take you guys along my weekend. So as you guys saw, I had my morning coffee and I had oatmeal this morning. I didn't show that because I've shown that in so many of my videos. Um, I eat oatmeal very often, even though it upsets my stomach sometimes. But um, I'm uploading a video right now, so make sure to go check it out. It's my everyday makeup routine, so it's a more natural look and I'm not a makeup girl at all, so it's not really a tutorial to follow. But I chat with you guys a little bit, um, let you guys know why I wanted to start a channel, do a more updated get to know me since I'm more comfortable in front of the camera. But yeah, make sure to go check that out. I really enjoyed filming that video and I think it turned out really well. So I hope you guys really enjoy it and yeah, leave a comment down below on that video if you guys came from this one. So. Um, right now, I'm going to work out normal day, and today, Kissing Booth 2 came out, and I'm a sucker for rom-coms, cheesy movies like that, and I love the first one, and I love Jacob Elordi, is that how you say his last name? I love him, so I'm excited to watch that. I'm going to wait to watch it tonight after I cozy up in bed, have some popcorn, so I'm excited for that. And yeah, today is going to be a good day. I went to bed really late last night because I was finishing editing the video and I was just jamming to the new Taylor Swift album. I love it. So yeah, I'll update you guys later with whatever I do. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so I just got changed to work out and stuff and I just got a package in the mail. Always exciting. Um, I got the Levi's rib cage shorts. Levi's was having a really good sale, so I just got one pair because I wanted to see if I like them, but I think I'm gonna order the darker pair as well. So these are them. I'm gonna do a whole haul later on. Um, I've been collecting a lot of items, so I want to do like a whole haul on them. So, as you guys can see, they go up pretty high. And then, this is how they look on the side, from the back. I really like them. Um, they're not as loose fitting as I thought they would be, but they're not very short from the back. Like, it's a good length. And they go up super high, and they're pretty flattering. I do recommend sizing up in these, though. I read the reviews before buying them. And normally I'm like a 28 in jeans, like a 6 or sometimes even an 8. So I go between a uh, size 28 or size 29 depending on the brand and the style of jean. But it said to size up in these so I got a size 30 and this is how they fit. So if I would have gotten my normal size, it would have been like a freaking sausage link in little plastic packaging just bursting out so I'm glad I sized up but I really like them actually and I like how high they go I could wear them with crop tops because um, I'm very self-conscious about my stomach area and I don't really like wearing cropped things where you could see my whole stomach 
And I do have a lot of crop tops that I can't really wear because I'm not about to wear them with my lower waisted shorts because I just hate my stomach. So anyway, enough on these. I just wanted to show you guys them. And again, I'll go into more detail in a haul. And I think I'm going to get the darker blue ones because they were having a really good sale. So hopefully they're still there. So yeah, it's always exciting when you get packages. So, and I'm getting two more delivered today. I have a problem. I know, but shopping is the only thing that brings me joy right now. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'm about to work out. I always do this. You guys have seen, I just like put it off until I finally do it. And then I'm going to go on a walk because it's super cloudy out and nice. And I want to listen to the Taylor Swift album as I'm out in this cloudy weather. And it's going to be a vibe. So can't wait for that. I'll see you guys later. What's up, you guys? So it's way later now. It's like four o'clock I'm making dinner right now I'm just making these raviolis that we had from Costco it's like the spinach mozzarella ravioli with some chicken sausage meatballs some marinara sauce and zucchini so that should be good oh I thought that was a bug nice little Friday meal up in here but I haven't really done much today. I applied to so many jobs today and worked on so many cover letters and just trying to make it all pretty now that my cover letter and my resume is all done. Well, cover letters you change up to every job you apply to. But that's all I've done today and I'm waiting to watch Kissing Booth 2. I think I'm going to go get an EG's later before I watch it and just curl up in bed and have myself a night watching that show. So I'm excited for that. So I'll see you guys later when I'm watching Kissing Booth probably and get my EG's. I'm excited. It's still watermelon. Um, watermelon is actually almost over so I should get it again. So yeah, that is the plan for the day, you know, a lit quarantine Friday night. We love that. Love 2020. She has done us so well. So yeah, that's my update for you guys. I'll see you guys later. Okay, I got my EGs. I also got the package. I got the call her daddy. I'm unwell cropped sweatshirt. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I feel like I kind of want the longer one instead of the crop. But then I wear it and I kind of fuck with it. So I don't know. I'm going to try it on. I got some biker shorts from Vivacious. Um, she's like a small business boutique. So I'm going to try these on together and see if I like the cropped better. And then after that, I'm going to put on the kissing booth. So... I'm excited. All right, let's try this on and I'll show you guys. Okay, I kind of really like these biker shorts. Um, they fit, fit really nicely and they're not like see-through or anything. And they were like 30 bucks maybe. And they're really comfortable, I like them. But this is a sweatshirt, so I don't know. I kind of like it with like leggings and stuff like that more like casual cute but I don't know if you guys have opinions leave them down below because like see this little vibe is cute so I don't know leave your opinions down below I would very much appreciate them but I'm really impressed with these biker shorts because why am I out of breath? Because they're one size fits all and they look super tiny when you pull them out but they like stretch really nicely and they don't stretch to the point where you can see like they're see-through. Oh, I'm not even trying. <sighs> where they're like see-through or anything. So I recommend them if you guys can't get your hands on any other ones because I can't. They're all sold out. But yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it, but like, do I? I don't know. 
just a mess so all right i'm gonna watch kissing booth now and think about this sweatshirt What's up you guys? I finished the movie. It was really good. Very cheesy. I feel like it was a lot cheesier than the first movie. I don't know if that's just me, but... And I feel like it might have been awkward to like film. You know, since they're exes. But other than that, really good movie. There's definitely going to be a third one. I'm just guessing that the way it ended. I think there's books on this series too. But yeah, I'm done with that. I don't really know what else to watch now. I think I might keep watching Criminal Minds or mm, I might watch the show Dark Desire. It has Maite Perroni and Alejandro. I don't remember his last name. But they're from telenovelas that I would watch when I was younger. And I've been wanting to watch it, but I actually want to sit down and watch it. And Criminal Minds is something that I just put on as background noise I'm because I've seen it. So this is something I'd have to sit and watch. So you know what? I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to watch that. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Um, have some popcorn. And then I put a few Doritos because I was craving them. So Skinny Pop, it's Skinny Pop, which is the best popcorn. I'm probably going to end off today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll see what tomorrow brings me. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I have the ordinary face mask on it's really tingling right now but I really like this mask I think it does work pretty well it looks so scary but yeah I thought I would start off today since I look so great right now but it's 10 34 so we'll see what I do today. Yeah, I think today all that's on the agenda is to run errands and stuff, so I'll see you guys later. What is up, you guys? So it's a little bit later now. I worked out after I did the face mask, and then I took a shower, and now I am out with my dad. He had a eye doctor's appointment, so I came with him because we're gonna go do a little bit of grocery shopping. So, that is the plan for today. And while I wait for him, I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I wanna try the almond milk honey flat white or something like that. I saw a TikTok on it and I really wanna try it. So, I didn't show you guys what I was wearing, but I'm wearing the new biker shorts I got, this Journey t-shirt, and then my old like adidas i really need new sneakers but um i want to get the basic ass nike air force ones but they've been sold out like everywhere so yeah that's a little side note but yeah i'm gonna drive to starbucks and get that drink and i'll tell you guys if i like it or not so stay tuned and hopefully it's good because it's probably gonna be like a five dollar drink so it better be good. So I'll update you guys when I get the drink. All right, I secured the bag. Mm. It's really good. Definitely recommend. Although this was $6, but I had money on my Starbucks card. So that's like not real money, I guess. But mm. yeah, it's really good. I really like it. Um, and it's pretty decent for you. I mean, it obviously has almond milk instead of normal milk. I never really have normal milk anyway, 
unless it's like in some sort of dish that my parents make but I don't really have milk because it upsets my stomach mm. but yeah I definitely recommend this very very good I wanted to try the cold brew with like the cocoa foam or whatever on top but I heard that it was really bitter and not very good and I don't really like bitter coffee um I still like when I can taste the coffee but just not that heavily and that's what I heard about that one that it just tastes like shit so I figured I would get this one and it was a good idea because it's freaking bomb so yeah, I definitely recommend it. And now I'm just gonna sit in the car, wait for my dad to come out of his appointment, drink this up. Mm. Maybe I'll watch some YouTube videos or keep listening to Taylor Swift's new album because I've been obsessed. And then we'll see what else we do or where we go next. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. So it's like, way later um i ended up waiting for my dad for way longer than i thought i was going to i was very upset about it but all we did was go to fries and get some stuff for dinner tonight and then yeah that's literally it it's pretty boring and uneventful day um so i just made myself a cookie and a mug i'll leave the tiktok I saw for it down below because this is the best cookie in a mug where I made it in a little bowl but this is the best one I've had literally it tastes like a cookie which you might be thinking well duh but most of the time when I make them it tastes like cake or it's just like not the cookie consistency it's more like cake and not as good so I've made a lot of mug cookies in my day because I'd be lazy and sometimes I don't want to make a full batch of cookies. So this one is freaking amazing. So I'll leave the recipe down below for you guys to try. Uh, oh, it's so hot. I just burnt my tongue. Oh. Um, but yeah, that's about it that I have going on. I think I'm going to end off today. Because I'll probably just continue to watch Netflix. Oh, update on that show. If you speak Spanish, I definitely recommend it. Um, I'd say 18 and older because it's a little, it's a little intense, but it's good. And yeah, I recommend you go watch it. I love my Teperroni. If you know, you know, RBD, Rebelde. That's my shit. So yeah, I'm gonna continue watching that. And then tomorrow, hopefully, is a more eventful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. So, um, it's about 10 in the morning now. And I'm having some pancakes. I'm so excited. I love Sundays because normally I have a good breakfast like this. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this up. I wanted to show you guys my breakfast because she looks good. So, see you guys later. What's up, you guys? So, I didn't end up working out today because I just wasn't in the mood. I've been doing well at working out every day and today I was just like, I'm not feeling it. So, what I decided to start doing is um, getting together all of my returns for... Zara because a lot of the stuff I got did not work out and yeah it's like too small let me just show you guys one of the things that I got from so, so this for example I don't know look at how tiny that shirt is I thought it was gonna be a lot longer and just yeah just a lot longer it fit weird around my pit area too like it just went i love the square neckline but this just like i don't know it looks so awful on me so returning that then i'm returning two pairs of shorts because the jean material was actually 
terrible and I sized up and then they were too small so then I sized up again and then they were way too big and like way too short still so I was just confused and I've gotten Zara jeans before and I love their jeans they work out really well for me and I just love their jeans but the shorts don't work out for me I don't know what it is especially around the butt area I don't even have like a really big butt either but they just fit weird so I'm returning those that's what I've been working on and I think in a bit I'm gonna go to Abercrombie with my friend Alicia because she has some things to return there and then maybe we'll look around there because there's some stuff that I would like to get but I don't really shop in store there mostly online and I think there's sales like just online so yeah that's the plan and hopefully I can go out and return these today it's actually not as hard as I thought it was gonna be I thought I had to go to Zara to return this stuff but you can just drop it off at the FedEx because um, the closest Zara to me is in Scottsdale Fashion Square and I would love to take a trip to Scottsdale Fashion Square again but with everything kind of closed and things the way they are just better to just drop it off at FedEx so yeah got that situated I'm happy about that because it's kind of coming close to the 30 days that I have to return it, so yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later. What's up you guys? It is about 10 now and I just got back from Alicia's. It was really fun. We just ordered takeout and stuff and chilled, watched some Twilight. But yeah, that's going to be it for the weekend vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to like this video and subscribe if you guys did to stick around for more. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.